Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Train of Thought. I am Eniko and I will be playing with trains. I'm giving you thoughts and this is not our usual save. This is something else. We're going to start with a little tutorial about... Um, I forget what they're called. These signals. The big ones. They're, they're bigger than the little ones, you see? Okay, so I laid this out for you so you didn't have to watch me mess around with it. So this train is wanting to go here, right? And this train just goes back and forth. And currently you can see it says waiting for free pass. Actually, I'll let, let me unpause that so the cursor doesn't shimmer as much. That's very weird that the cursor shimmers so much. Um, yeah, this train is partially on this tile, so he can't go through, but if I move him a little bit... Now he's moving. And if you know a little bit about Transport Tycoon, you might, might be like, hey, what gives? Because the way it works is if you have any number of connected rail so, like this, I don't know. And then you put some signals there. Uh, it doesn't really matter which ones. Right, so let's get rid of this tree. So all of this rail, because it's between two signals, is part of the same signal block. And the way OpenTTD or TTD works is if there's anything inside this block, nobody else can enter it. And so this entire bit here is one block. Get rid of that tree too. Get rid of this tree. I hate trees. Trees are bastards. Hmm, I'm not sure why he's waiting for free path actually there. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. So what these do is instead of trying to see if the block is free if there's any trains in the blocks um they try and reserve a path so this guy is trying to reserve this path here which he can't do because this train is on top of it so if i move him this train will be able to move actually let's fast forward a bit okay so what happens is... Oh, I should have stopped him. Oh well. So if this train is trying to go here, and you have this train standing here, going through the block, right? You can see it right now. He, he can just go because he reserves this track, and this train reserves this track. So they're not in conflict, they won't collide, and everything is good. And this is very important if you're doing any kind of track. Again, you see he can go through here because he's not reserving his part. And this is very important when you're doing intersections. And I just wanted to do a little explanation slash mini tutorial before we start with the proper game. So people would understand what is going on. I know it's supposed to be a vloggy thing, but sometimes you also just gotta explain how the game works. Alright! Well then, I'll get back in game and see you there! And here we are, back in good old new Butway. As you can see, I've done a little bit of renovation to the... Um, oh, that's... Oh, your stupid high-rise is blocking the view of my pretty, pretty train station. Oh, go away. So I, I make the train station a little bit nicer. I have a couple of sets that I can use for that. Um, I did the same thing here in uh, Puddingville. Good old Puddingville. As you can see, I kind of try to make this look like a bigger station than this one. Did I fix this one up? Yes, I did. So, Marthingfield South is also a thing. So, we've tidied that all up. Um, there's actually people moving into this side of the bay, so that's good. That means that new buttway is spreading this way. 
I was a little bit worried it wouldn't be able to spread past um, because Sanding Hall is spreading over here and it's kind of growing into New Butway, so I was afraid New Butway wouldn't be able to grow this way. Yeah, this um, forklift tr truck dude. We need a name for forklift truck dude. If you have a name suggestion for forklift truck dude, um, leave it in the comments. Yeah. He's still... Dude, there's like all of this. And you're, you're just... What do I even pay him for? It's terrible. So yeah, the, the harbour is pretty full. We have 1,700 tons of food just sitting here, wasting. And as that guy said in Godzilla, that's, um, that's a lot of fish. So I also noticed we have um, a fruit plantation and another fruit plantation. And I was like, what is this weird house in the middle of nowhere? There's no town here. What the hell is going on? Also a fruit plantation. Plantation. Fruit plantation. I can speak. It's, it's physically possible. So we have a bunch of fruit plantations and I think, no, you do not take that. Um, yeah, we have here at Char Town. Char Town? I don't... If you have a better name for this really horribly named town, leave it in the comments! I am so good at increasing user engagement and getting conversions and, you know, all of those marketing things. Oh my god, look at me go. Um, yeah. So what I want to do is I want to hook this up. They take fruit and make alcohol. And who doesn't like some alcohol? Except for people who don't drink alcohol, I guess. Mm. Yeah. Um, and if we do that, we can probably also connect this town, which is going to be amazing. But we're going to have to do something about this stuff here. I don't know how to best do this. See, I'm afraid if I blow this up, right, they're going to be annoyed with me for blowing up their road. And to be fair, it's a bit rude to blow up your road. Okay, now we want to have a 2x4 platform. And you will just barely be able to take fruit. But that's good enough. Barely is good enough. I can live with that. Ah, for the love of St. Pete. We are on a bank. Hey, is that a bank? Is that an actual bank? No, it's not an actual bank. It's just a fake bank. Um, We are on a hill. That's okay. I can work with that. It's not ideal. To have your thing on a hill but it's not the worst thing that has ever happened in human history I mean not sure if you know your human history but you know bad things have happened in history that is definitely a thing that happens okay how can we best connect these up can I do a bridge over here from, ah, oh god, dang, nab it. Dang, nab it. I'm sorry, I'll never do that again. I'm sure that was very painful for actual Americans. Well, that cost me like 30,000 quid. Apparently my British friends think it's very amusing when I use the word quid. And it's like... But that, that's what your money is called. I don't, uh, why is that funny? I don't understand. Because I am not British, you see. I may sound British, but I am not British. And also my audio is kind of clipping and I apologise for that. I really don't know what happened. Okay, so today I'm like recording three freaking hours of this because I am going away to the UK on Monday and then 
A week later, I'll be in Atlanta at Momocon with my game. So I shan't have time to record and upload and edit and all of those things. And then I'll be three weeks in St. Louis. So, same deal. Um, let's see, how do we, how do we do? How do we do things? Oh yeah, this, this is my jam. This is my jam right here. Um, this one goes this way, okay. So we want a yellow one. I constantly forget how to do my signals. Like, I constantly have to look it up on the wiki and stuff. Is that gonna be a normal one? Oh yeah, it is. Oh, that's good. That's quite good, that is. Oh man, this music is way too loud. I've got to turn on my volume. Like, if the music is too loud, it's just hard to hear yourself think. Um, yeah, so I need to do quite a few episodes. I won't be able to get the subscriber special up in time. There was a clear preference for me doing the dramatic um, green light comment reading, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I hope you enjoy that, but that's going to be a while because I'm not going to be at home for five weeks. I can't... I, I'm kind of afraid that I'll be... Um, at my next 100 subscriber thingy before then, which would be interesting. I mean, I wouldn't be complaining because 100 subscribers. Let's see if this all checks out. Yes, this looks good. All right. That means we can not blow that up. If I blew, if I blow up this tile, it would blow up my entire bloody station, which is not what I wanted at all. Um, what was I saying? Can't remember. 100 subscribers, yeah. Okay, so you're like, okay, you've, you've connected Chitown. 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 You've connected Chitown, which is still the worst name ever, um, to Puddingville. Good job. Why, thank you. I'm, I'm so glad you noticed. It's almost like you were watching my video or something. But no, what are you gonna do? I mean, it's, 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 you can't really... I mean, what I could do is have trucks move this to another station and then have that station um, move it over. But what I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm gonna do something I don't often do, but occasionally it is called for. I'm going to do a one um, track station there. I'm going to do a one track station here. And here I don't know what I should do. I, I, I think I'm going to do like the station for this plantation is going to go there, and then I'm going to actually lay the track next to it, maybe? Uh, I did that wrong, I think. Let's see. Where do we get off here? Mm. I may have to think about that while I'm doing this. So you can have, like, an in-out for one thing. Um... Let's just, let's just start laying down some rail. I can't put rail there, because there's a fruit plantation in the way. God damn it, Dindingbury. Dingleberry. Point flim flamberry. I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just saying words. The YouTube channel is doing quite well. That's quite pleasing to me. I honestly didn't know if it was going to work out because I used to have a different YouTube channel annotation over here. I'm just saying that to remind myself more than telling you to click on the annotation. And, um, <clears throat> um, lost my train of thought. 
That's uh, that's funny. I lost my train of thought because because the series is called Train of Thought. That's quite good. That is. Okay, so if this is which way is in, let's do that first. So this is is down. So this is up. I think that's correct because that's the way it is here. Yeah. Okay. You want to have your sig your signals always facing the same way, otherwise you're going to have issues. And not the fun kind of issues. Okay, so I could do a whole path-based signaling mess here, but I'm not gonna. So this is coming in, you go here, and then going out, you can just go here. So what I'm just gonna do here is, because this is, there's never gonna be a whole ton of traffic I'm just gonna use a normal actually do I really need that I could just use these now I think the difference between this and this is that you can't go through these from the back um, okay so if I'm doing this This is not ideal. I will explain why this is not ideal. Normally, if you want these um, to work optimally, like it doesn't really matter here, but if you want this to work optimally, you want there to be enough track here before the next block. So if this block is blocked, like if, if it's occupied and the train isn't moving, it'll stay on this track blocking the entire thing which is a problem with these because they will go onto the track whereas with a normal block they will wait until the way is clear for sure but it doesn't really matter here the only reason I'm doing this is so this way and this way they don't necessarily need to be blocked if this train is coming or going out and actually do I need two tracks here? yes, yes I do, okay Thank you for telling me that I need two tracks here, me. That is very, very good of you. I don't actually know how to do this, because normally I just have them merge into the track, but the track doesn't actually go anywhere here. Okay, that was a lot of messages about stuff not turning a profit. I think I'll just do it like this. I think that'll work, probably. And then you just go... I guess you can go like this and then lay this straight. That'll work. It's a it's a little bit messy, but it's fine. Let's also um set up like a depot here before before these. That'll work. You don't get a depot, you can just use one of the other depots if you need to. Although I could put it behind here. I've never done that, I wonder what that does. Does that work? I mean, I assume it works. There's no reason why it wouldn't work, but it's a little bit weird. So I've never done it. Okay, so I need a, this to curve a little bit around here. Otherwise we won't have enough room to work with. Because there's this curve, which is kind of ill thought out of me, but oh uh, well. Although I couldn't make it come around, because it doesn't really need to go here ever. Go away, I don't like your messages. I am very anti message. Um. Yeah, this will work. Okay. So we're doing this then. Yeah, um, I am going to try and get like one video a week up scheduled. Um, uh, this is why I'm recording three hours of footage today. Okay, so let's see. Let's think about this. I'm sorry that this is so gamey, but sometimes you just need to, need to game. Sometimes you just need to game, dude. This is wrong. I'm an idiot. Um, this goes this way, this way. It 
so I'll just put it like that for now. Actually, just let's just delete those for now. Um, so this is where it's coming in and it needs to merge into here. So let's remove these. Now I can either do this or I can go straight and then do that. I'll probably do this. So it can come in here and then if it goes out, this is kind of messy because you need to cross this rail in order to go back in. There is unfortunately no way to change that. Now, if I wanted to, to go both ways, and in fact, I will just do that, even though it's not necessary right now, I mind as well, because who knows what I might want to do later on. Okay, so I'm just going to set this up. So you want, can't remove. Yeah, I'm not trying to. Okay, so he's reserved a path. He's quite a happy little dude. Um, I'm going to want to have four squares. So this one needs to be here. And then we're just going to put one there. So this is the four squares. A train can comfortably fit here while having passed this block. So it will not tie it up, as it were. Oh, I don't need to do this then, I guess. Wait, is that even necessary? If you're, if you're coming from here and you want to go in here, then you don't need this track. If you're coming from here and you want to, there is something wrong here. You are facing the wrong way. We're just going to delete you. Okay, so I want this one here, and I want one there. So this is coming this way, this is coming this way, this is coming this way. Yeah, that's all fine. So you can go from here into here. You can go from here into here. You can go from here into there, and you could can go from there into here, yeah. So there to here is this. Uh, I don't think this is needed, actually. From this into this, yeah. Can you go from this? Oh no, that's kind of bad, because then you can't go into here, okay. And then this into this. Okay, so this is what we don't need. We'll just do it that way then. Is that fine? That's probably fine. And this is, let's see how many tiles this is. One, two, three, four. Okay. I'm sorry, that took a bit, a bit of time. But we're all done now and this should be working. So now we can run trains from here, here and here. Let me turn off the X-ray. All the way through Puddingville into Chartown, Chartown, Chartown. Chartown, the most ch of towns. This is all going to be mine. Your house is going to be mine too. It is inescapable. Um, now I need three trains, which is actually, why did I do this? This is a horrible, horrible idea. Now what I could do is have one track now. Hmm. No, I need the trains anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to do the naive way because I don't know. I don't know what the hell, what the hell I'm doing. I need something that has a decent amount of horsepower, but I don't want it to cost like a bazillion. What well, has a lot of horsepower? Do you have a lot of horsepower? Uh, I could also try and see if one of 
these multiple unit wagon thingies because these are quite good trains um no they only refit to passengers and mail okay so i think this is just for passengers and mail and you can't do cargo what's this 2cc stuff i mean it looks quite nice I haven't done any cargo trains yet, so that's why I'm kind of, eh. Let's just go all the way down the list, clicking, buying random trains by accident. That's not what I had in mind, actually. Okay, this is 2,200 horsepower. I'm going to try one of these. All right. Oh, I haven't set this up with signals. I am an idiot. I apologize, viewers, for being such an idiot. I cannot help it. I am but an idiot. Okay, so this will be fine this block, I assume. I could just remove this as well. Since this is using path based. Okay, so you're gonna go here and get a load. And then you're gonna go here and drop a load. Yes, I, I make that joke again. Oh, we're coming up on 28 minutes. 27, actually. So, um,. I didn't. I am an idiot. I didn't give you anything to haul cargo with because I am in like 20 million places with my brain at the moment. Okay, what do we want? Fruit. Fruit. Boxcar. Yeah, let's get some boxcars. Or do we want the third generation boxcar? Has quite a bit more um, capacity. So it's 49 and this is 25, but this is 32 tons and this is 48 tons. So the capacity per tonnage is better on these ones. So um, let's see how much do you produce? 40 tons. Oh wow, that's just the one box car. That is ridiculous. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna need more. I don't know how many more. Uh, okay, I'm gonna pause it here, and when I figure out how to do all of this, I will be back. Wow, that, that took a little bit of time. So I've rearranged all of this. This is still a single track, this is still, still a single track. But I wanted to make the two trains that are here just drop their shit off here. And then this will drop stuff up off there on its own. Um, and I foresaw, since I have three plantation here, that this might become a bit of a hub area for fruit. So I just created a a big station that you can go into from both sides and it's fine then probably gonna be gonna be one train two at most waiting for cargo here so there's still two platforms available to ditch cargo um so now we gotta buy ourselves another train we're not gonna buy the baldwin because it's expensive what is the running cost of this? 29,000. How much is the Baldwin? Twenty-eight thousand. Okay. Well, fine. Now we want something now that has a low running cost. So three thousand? This is, but this has barely no horsepower. We want something that has decent running costs for the horsepower that we're getting. 
It doesn't look like that's the thing that's going to be happening. Uh, so this is normally much easier. Normally the running costs are not that out there. I could get this one, but last I checked it was pretty slow. Although it doesn't really matter if it's slow. Well, it is really slow. It's like 30 kilometers an hour. Hmm. I should have just used trucks, I think. But it's called train of thought, so you know. That's, uh, that's what you get. That's what you get for the thing. The thing with the stuff. Boxcar. So I'm going to get just two of these, I think. And then refit them to fruit. This is probably going to be awful. Um, I'm not going to lie. This is not going to be a good thing. Yeah, just stop at the near end. I really don't care. Alright, let's see how this goes then. This is a bit of a long one, isn't it? Oh, I'm paused. Well, that explains why it's not moving then, is it? You were really, really slow. You are almost inconceivably slow. You are slow, almost inconceivably so. Because that rhymes. Um, well, that's not going to be a good thing. Probably want to give this some one more cart, I think. I mean, it doesn't have to go far, so it's not a really big deal, but... It's not great. Okay, so I'm going to buy another one of those. Yeah, just just do that one. How much do you make? You make 45, so that's about on par. Um, yeah, but we don't want, to, want you to go there. We want you to go... There's also a way to... Clone orders, so that all the clones have the same orders, which is clearly not what I wanted to do here. No, I want you to... To... A thing. Transfer. That's the thing I want you to do. You as well. Oh boy. Okay, that's fine. Let's see if this works, and then I'll wrap it up, and I'll do the rest off camera in between this episode and the next, which I will be recording like immediately after this. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, oh, don't. Ah, well, whatever. Okay, so we have fruit piling up here, and with that, the episode has gone on way too long. I tried to shoot for like twenty-five to thirty minutes, but I always overshoot. I'm sorry. So. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!